back. I'd like to recognize Mr. Price for our next presentation. Mr. President, members, I'm excited to stand here uh, today to celebrate a very special anniversary for an institution in our city. K Love 107.5 FM is the longest running Spanish FM radio station in the city. That's worth an applause, don't you think? <laughs> and with more than 2 million listeners a week, it's also the largest. But for so many in the city, the radio station. Uh, is about more than music. As they put it, they play the soundtrack for our city. For generations, Latinos living in Los Angeles, the radio station has been a continuous source of entertainment, music, and news, often helping to bridge the gap between immigrant parents uh, and their first and second generation children. From Alexandro Fernandez to Sakara, the station plays all the hits. Uh, the the exitos de hoy y de ayer. And today, as the station celebrates its 40th anniversary, we recognize K Love. Uh, we, like, we recognize K Love Day in the city of Los Angeles. Joining us today are two of the station's most popular hosts, uh, husband and wife Omar and Argelia. This husband and wife duo are regularly uh, topping the charts of all the radio hosts in the city. Uh, and combined, they have more than one million engaged social media users. And with that kind of popularity, this couple has helped promote dozens of great causes that range from health care and wellness uh, to education and immigration reform. Up here with me today, I have my colleague and hermana, uh, Councilwoman Nuri Martinez, who is a great fan of the station uh, and who can tell us more about what makes k -Love so special in our community. Councilwoman? Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Price. It's a great uh, pleasure to be here this morning um, to make this presentation. Regardless of what, where Caleb is ranked, it's been one of Ali's most popular and most important radio stations in the Spanish-speaking community for almost 40 years of its history. And for years, Omar y Argelia have been a core part of Caleb's success that almost didn't happen. When Argelia joined the morning show, she faced many challenges that in a very male-dominated industry. Rather than using her experiences as a news reporter, she was regulated to traffic updates and nothing else. But once Omar joined the show, their natural chemistry showed through and they became the host of the morning show. Not only did Omar and Argelia work together to develop a fun and hip morning show, but they also developed a relationship. And three, year, three and a half years later, they were married. <laughs> Today, their show attracts women of all ages, with, Argelia's, uh, with Argelia, who glows as an everyday Latina, and Omar, whose friendly demeanor welcomes listeners every morning. From discussing immigration stories to playing the top Spanish language music, Omar y Argelia's talk show talk about all kinds of topics that appeal to Latinos in Los Angeles. They are, they are the core of how Caleb has become so influential throughout our nation, and with their programming, I'm confident that they'll have another 40 years of success. Congratulations to Caleb on a wonderful and successful history. Thank you, Nuri, and without further ado, let's invite Omar and Argelia to the podium and to thank them uh, for providing such great service uh, to our community and, and to thank them for being such wonderful hosts uh, in the morning. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. It is an honor. We are humbled to be here. Thank you, Mr. Price, for recognizing Caleb. 40 years of history, 40 years of being part of the Los Angeles community. Uh, the other day we were talking about what makes a great Angelino. 
uh, what makes a great Latino in Los Angeles? Well, allow me to say this in Spanish. K-Love es el reflejo de la comunidad hispana en Los Ángeles y estamos muy agradecidos, muy honrados. Muchas gracias. Thank you. That's my husband. Well, personally, it's a huge achievement on my end and professionally. Thank you for the wonderful words, Ms. Martinez. Um, I'm literally shaking right now because I've never thought I'd be in City Hall receiving an award, especially on behalf of Caleb and all of the colleagues that have been through those wonderful microphones since 40 years ago. Um, I covered, I used to cover so many stories for City Hall on the other side, and now I get to be on this side. And it truly is an honor because, like Ms. Martinez says, um, I was hired to represent to be the voice of so many women in our community that don't have a voice. And finally, Caleb had a female co-host, you know, back in 13 years ago, just celebrated 13 years ago. And for me to be standing here in front of you, council members and Mr. President, it truly is an honor. Personally, I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of Caleb's pounding, vibrant heart. I want to say gracias as well. So there it's, it's it. And yes, I did marry my co-host, but that was not part of the plan. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. But I want to thank LA and the community for falling in love with us and for letting us be part of their lives every single day at five o'clock in the morning. And we invite you all to be a part of our lives too and Caleb's life from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Thank you so much. Continued success to you all. And you know, I, do, I also want to add, most people always think of radio and they think of the talent, the people on air, but they don't really think about the people behind the talent, which is really the people that push us to give our best. And with this being said, I want to thank the programmers and our general managers. And we have our team here. We have Fernando Perez, we have Isabel Gonzalez, we have Edit, our producer, and Nihal, our social media gal down there snapping away. <laughs> but I would like for them to come forward and also speak on behalf of Caleb and what it means to them. Please, come on. Thank you, Mr. President. And let's give them a round of applause. The talent behind the talent. Welcome. Thank you. It's an honor to be here, and it's an honor to serve the community of Los Angeles and all of Latinos uh, listening to the radio, a powerful medium. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, thank you very much for this honor. Um, I'm Angelina, myself, I was born and raised here in LA. So to me, I grew up listening to Caleb. So being part of this institution that, you know, it's turning 40 this year, it's an amazing honor. And thank you, everybody, for recognizing me. Thanks. And if, uh, thank you so much for having us, Mr. President, and everybody else. If I could just add that growing up and listening to Caleb and understanding what it means to the community, it's a big deal to have the city recognize it as well on its 40th anniversary. So thank you so much, and thank you to everybody else that works on the team and whoever has worked before on Caleb as well. All right. <clears throat> well, here's to 40 more years of success uh, for the station. Felicidades. Uh, que felicidades en su an an Help him, Nuri. <laughs> <laughs> Felicidades en su aniversario, que cumplen muchos, más con mucho. Yeah. Éxito. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Price. <laughs> 